Hello. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. Well, I haven't been doing much homebrewing recently. And uh, in fact, this last week I've been away with the family on holiday up in Scotland. And although I didn't do any brewing, I did take the chance to have a few beers whilst I was up there and then pop into a distillery as Oban makes its own single malt whisky. It being um, Scotland and the west coast of Scotland, of course, it, uh, the weather changed greatly, as you will see during the video. Some days beautiful, but predominantly it was uh, persistently raining. But, as I say, there are no, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. And some of the clothing I wore was pretty bad, I've got to say, I was drenched through a few times. So I thought I'd take you with us on our little week away and show you a little bit of the west coast of Scotland, a little bit of open area, and then um, show you a little bit of the... Brew, the um, distillery, although you're not actually allowed to film unfortunately in the distillery, but it was still quite interesting. The um, caravan, as you will see, uh, the site was right on the shores and it was uh, beautiful, really, really beautiful sights to see. Um, thank goodness the waves weren't any higher, otherwise they, they would have been into the land just about and we did have so much rain at one point I thought that, <laughs> that was going to happen. But it's on the uh, Lynn of Lawn, um, on the caravan site called North Lejeeg. It's spelt Ledeg, but it's pronounced Ledeg, um, as is the whiskey. And then, the bad weather came in. <laughs> Absolutely chucking it down. Just been to get some water. Well, it was very, very stormy and lasted quite a while. But eventually, towards the evening time, the uh, wind scales dropped a bit and the rain stopped and we did get a break in the weather. And we decided that what we'd do was nip out to Oban itself and have, well, actually uh, North Connell, uh, which is um, about two or three miles outside of Oban, and have a nice meal in one of the local pubs there.
Well, unfortunately, although the meal was fantastic, and of course that, the, that area and that part of Scotland is noted for its seafood, and um, I had a most beautiful bowl of mussels, as you saw there. I started off with oysters before that, so it was tremendous. But although the pub advertised itself as having a, a load of cask ales and craft ales, I'm afraid the only thing they had on tap uh, on hand pull was Dukas, which IPA, which is normally I'm not keen on that um, when it's in England, but actually it was quite nice. Um, so that went down well with the mussels. And then, of course, when I go back to the caravan, time for a couple of beers, some that I'd got for Christmas from my wife Heather and my first aid box, and then uh, a couple of Belgians. The following day, interwoven itself, I had a look around the harbour area and there's a fantastic fish restaurant just on the corner there. And then um, look around at some of the places there and saw a nice brewery sign for the Urban Brewery, although unfortunately it seemed to be closed. And then after that, I'd booked in for a, a, a distillery tour. It's on the light side, but uh, it's, oh, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, not what we is it? <laughs> I think that used to be a good Scottish band in my heyday, Smokey. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were there. Smokey, yeah, Smokey, yeah. Smokey was a Scottish band, oh. and they were very good. <laughs> not many people know that one. And so, here's the finished article. All I can say is I hope I haven't bored you too much. Um, and as they say in the Gaelic, Slangeva. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already done so, then please do. Please feel free to make a comment and thumb up the video. And today is homebrew Wednesday, and although as I said I haven't homebrewed, um, I will be homebrewing this weekend, and so uh, hopefully we'll include some brew footage of that on next week's. Slanjiwa, slanjiwa.